This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Bellroy Light Sling Mini, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So at this point, we're pretty used to this fabric that we're seeing here from Bellroy. It is a very lightweight ripstop fabric. And obviously, as the name denotes, this is a lighter version than some of their other slings that have hardier materials. But that's not to say this, isn't, this thing isn't durable. It is pretty durable. I haven't any issues with it, you know, um, no holes or tears or punctures or anything like that. But it also does pretty well um, when it comes to water resistance too. So I was walking and it wasn't really like a heavy rain, but a light sprinkle and no water got inside. So that's a, a good testament, I think, to the materials on this thing. And we have plenty of review, reviews of other light uh, products. So go check those out and you'll see other um, what other people have done with the materials and how they've held up. But no issues really with this material so far in any of our reviews, at least major ones, I should say. So pretty happy with that. We do have quite a few colorways available. We've got arcade gray, chalk, copper, and shadow. So those are a lot of the colorways we've seen in the rest of the light collection. I do like um, how the Bellroy logo on at least this particular colorway, it isn't really shouting at you. It's there, you can see it, but it doesn't like from far away. It's not like really big and boisterous, which is what we're used to seeing from Bellroy. It's not, they're very subtle, very sleek. And we also have this little uh, uh, loop down here, which is good for a uh, bike light. I went for, um, a bike ride at night to go to a game uh, that, well, actually didn't leave at night. I knew I'd be coming back at night from a game at uh, Comerica Park, Tiger Stadium, a soccer game, and I brought my bike light inside of here, and then on the way home, I wore this on my back, and I just clipped my bike light on there, so that worked really well. We've got a YKK AquaGuard zippers here on both of these compartments. This one up here has two zippers, which takes a little bit of getting used to. I know we see this a lot with Bellroy, but for such a small pack, it seems like a little bit like overkill, but they don't get in the way, so I can't have that much of a beef with it. Easy enough to use, open and close. Something to note is that we do have a gusset on this thing, which makes it easier to stuff more gear inside there, but because of the gusset, there is a small hole, like I'm inside of the uh, sling right now. So in theory, water could get inside there, but I think you'd really have to be in like a monsoon or something like that for it to happen. The buckle on the shoulder strap here, or the strap is a magnetic Wujin buckle. Nothing to really complain about. And I think it's one of those things that if, once you get used to it, you either like it or you don't. So if you haven't tried one before, maybe try one in a store somewhere to see if you like it before you commit. But I do like this thing. It hasn't come undone for me at all. Very easy and snappy and just fun to play with overall. So we do have some padding on the back panel here, but it's not a ton. And there isn't any mesh or anything like that. And there's not really like a, you know, a big back panel or anything like that. So really whatever you stow on the back side of the main compartment kind of becomes your back panel. So if you were to put something flat, like I have a phone back here right now, that becomes the back panel and it's flat and it's comfortable because you have that little bit of padding and it kind of acts just like a back panel. But if you were to put something oblong in there, and I don't know, the first thing popping in my head right now is an apple. If you were to put an apple in there, it's gonna be kind of rounded and push out and maybe be a little bit uncomfortable. I think it'd probably still be fine because you can't really fit enough inside this thing for it to be super uncomfortable, but it's not gonna be as comfortable if you were to put a flat item on the back side here. As far as the strap goes, we've seen this very similar material before, no padding or aeration or anything like that, but it is pretty comfortable. Again, you can't stow that much inside of this pack, so it remains pretty comfortable. If you were to really load this thing up with something that was super dense, maybe you would dig in a little bit after a while and you'd be a little bit uncomfortable. But in my general use case and using this for a variety of things over the two week testing period, it was never really uncomfortable for me. And maybe if you were wearing a tank top and this was just resting on your skin and not on a shirt, you might have a little bit of discomfort, but overall pretty happy with it. It's pretty soft and pretty comfortable. Got these nice little straps here on the side, which I think help because obviously this is a crossbody bag, not a fanny pack. It kind of helps let you wear it wherever you want to wear it, which is something, again, we've seen on quite a few Bellroy bags. So this is a crossbody bag. It is not really meant to be worn as a fanny pack. So this is how I typically wore this bag. I liked it because I have access to both of these compartments and I can do it quickly. And also if I um, don't want it on my front, I can pretty quickly transition it to be worn on my back like this. Sorry if I just hit the mic there, but pretty quick to do. And while I was riding my bike with this thing, I would wear it on my back. 
And then if I did need something while I was riding my bike, I could, you know, shift it up. But I do wear these pretty, uh, I wear slings in general, crossbody bags. I wear them pretty tight and that was no issue with this one here. You can wear it on either shoulder and that will affect a little bit of where the buckle is. So I like this right now, how I'm wearing it. But I can just access it from right here. But if you were to shift it to be wearing it on your other shoulder, I think that it would actually, it would be switched. So it would be down here, which is a little bit harder for me to grab, especially if I have some mobility issues in this arm. So it's a little bit harder for me to get to, but you can wear it on either shoulder. And I will say it is just pretty comfortable overall, especially for something that is a little bit tighter. So we've got just one secondary compartment here. It is this front pocket. Not a huge pocket. I've got my wallet stowed inside there right now. There isn't much organization inside there. We do have a pretty long key leash here. So depending on your door or your lock, or if you're going, you know, traveling, you're going to a hotel Airbnb and you need a key or something, this might be long enough to reach to where you need to unlock something. So I do like that length and it's not super wide or anything. So it doesn't really get in the way while it's inside here. So I do like the length of this and it is just easy to use, but nothing, no other organization inside of this pack. You could put your phone in here, depending on your phone. If you have a larger case, it might not fit inside there. It is easier to access this pocket while you're wearing it than the main compartment. So maybe if there's something you know you're gonna need, whether that be phone, wallet, keys, something like that, you put that in there instead, because this isn't a huge pocket. So depending on your phone and wallet size, you might not be able to fit both inside there. So whichever you need more, maybe that's the one that goes inside there. And then maybe the one you want a little bit more protection for goes in the main compartment because it is closer to you. It would be harder for someone to get in there. Um, I don't think you really have to worry about that so much because it is you know, worn so close to your body. But I think that is worthy of mentioning. But overall, happy with how much gear I can fit inside that little pocket. But as I said, if you do have a larger phone case or even a plus size phone, you might struggle to fit your phone inside there. So moving into the main compartment, as I mentioned, we do have those two zippers. So you can get kind of creative with where you're leaving your zippers and how you're opening it, or if you want to like leave a water bottle in here sticking out or something like that. But we do have a bit more organization inside here. So just in here right now, I have my Instax Mini. Typically, I would have a nice two pack of film right here, but I used all my film on my most recent trip. So I need to buy some more. So there's no film inside of here right now. And then on the back panel here, we have this zipper compartment and that's where I've got my phone stashed right now. Fits my iPhone 11 pretty snugly. You put in there, as you can see, it's, you know, you might be able to fit a plus size phone in there if you don't have a case or if you have a very minimalistic case. But again, if you have a larger case, you might struggle to fit it in that part there. Got a nice little uh, mantra there from Bellroy. Kind of hard to see, but just nice to see. Uh, not nice to see, it's a nice little design inclusion. You see that a lot from Bellroy. They'll put something about the product or how they designed it written inside, not on in the outside or anything like that. So just a little fun quirk that you get from Bellroy. It is easier to see the gussets now that we're inside of here. So this is the gusset. So when you have less gear, it can fold like that. And when you have more gear, it can expand. But I'll close this a little bit so you can kind of see that there is a little pathway for water or whatever to get inside of there when um, just when you're using this thing. I haven't had an issue with that. And then other Bellroy slings also have that same design. And in my use with them, I've never had issue with water getting inside, but in theory, it could happen, so it's worth mentioning. But overall, a pretty amply sized main compartment. I think this thing comes in at four liters. And I was pretty surprised with how much I was able to fit inside of here. At one point, I think I had the Instax Mini, uh, two, a two pack of film, my phone, uh, my wallet, and I think there was something else in there too, all in this main compartment. And then I had uh, my keys and I think maybe some gum or something in this secondary compartment. So you really can fit quite a bit of gear in here and that's all thanks to this gusset and I think it really looks good no matter how much gear you have inside of it which is saying something because a lot of times you'll see a piece of gear that has a bunch of gear in it and maybe it's all filled out and it looks all right but then when there's nothing in it it looks kind of frumpy but because of that gusset when it's you know there's nothing in this pack right now and I still think it looks pretty good obviously you're not going to carry around an empty pack but I think that's worth noting and something that I think Bellroy does a very good job at so there you have it the Bellroy light sling mini Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.